Okay, continue working with our Android phone. This video is part of a series. Be sure to check out the full playlist, hopefully in the description of this video or at the end of this video. Uh, so far, we have unlocked the bootloader and we've installed a custom recovery. So now we're going to put in a mod. We're going to go with uh, Lineage OS. I just picked that because uh, CyanogenMod Mod no longer exists. Been dead for about a year now. And out of uh, the ones that I've Googled, this one seems to support a lot of devices. So let's go ahead and check that out. So I've Googled Lineage OS and we're going to go ahead and choose uh, the devices link. And from the list, I'm going to choose my phone, which is a Motorola. And from the list here, we can see down here we have the Motorola Play, which also contains the proper code name, which we found in a previous video in this series. And here it gives extra information about the phone to confirm you have the right phone. I'm going to go to the installation guide here. And then we're going to scroll down to the section that says install lineage OS from recovery and the first link here is to download the package and I want to go ahead and choose the newest version the newest nightly build right here We'll download a zip file for you. Now you can follow the instructions on the Lineage OS website, which tells you how to download the zip file, put it on a storage for the phone, such as a SD card, or you can even go USB uh, with a USB dongle and an OTG cable. But we're going to do it a little bit different. Instead of downloading it to our computer and then copying over to the phone, we're just going to download it to our computer and then do what's called side loading, which is basically we're going to download to our phone and or to our computer and then push it through USB and it'll automatically write without having to copy uh, a copy to some sort of storage on the phone. We're going to get into the bootloader on the phone by holding down the down volume power button after a few seconds and this is with the phone shut off. Uh, after a few seconds let go of the power button and we should get our little screen here. I'm going to hit down two times click recovery mode and we'll get our warning that our bootloader is unlocked and once we get past that we should start to see our recovery screen come up here. There we go, our team win, twerp, and there we go. Now just a reminder, you're going to want to do a backup of your uh, phone at this point. Uh, I'm not going to show you that. You basically click the backup button on the phone, choose to do a backup, and then take those files off the phone, take that whole folder and store it somewhere else. You don't want to keep those on the phone in case you accidentally wipe out the whole system. After you've done the backup of your system and you've copied those files elsewhere, we're going to go inside the main menu for Team Win Recovery Project, Twerp. We're going to go ahead and we're going to choose to wipe, and we are going to wipe the entire system. We're going to swipe, and it shouldn't take very long. After wiping our system, we are going to then go back to our main menu, which you can get to any time by hitting the home button here in Twerp. And under Twerp, we're going to choose Advanced Things, because we're not going to just install it like it does in normal tutorials where you're copying over. We're going to do an ADB side load, which is right here. We choose that. Then even though we did a wipe already, we're going to go ahead and check to do a wipe of our cache up here. Now on your computer, on, at your shell, you're going to want to navigate into the directory where you downloaded the zip file from the Lineage OS website. And we're going to use uh, the ADB command. Now depending on your permissions, you may need to start this as sudo or root, or you may not. So ADB, and then side load, and then the name of the zip file that you downloaded. You're going to go ahead and choose that. Back at the phone, in the side load screen, we're going to go ahead and swipe to start side load. And then we can run our command on our desktop computer. It's going to start loading that file over. You can see your progress here. It's going to copy uh, the zip file over and then flash the whole phone. This should only take a couple of minutes and you have your progress bar to let you know how far you've gone. Back on your computer, you also have a percentage of how much it's copying over. As we grow closer and the files are copied over, you can see as your partitions are flashed and our process is complete. At this point we have Lineage OS installed on our phone and we can click the reboot button and reboot the system. Keep in mind that the first boot might take a little bit longer than normal boots. It might take a couple of minutes as it sets stuff up. As I said before, the first boot can take a little while, could take a couple of minutes. Don't be concerned. Let it do what it needs to do. Uh, but I will take this moment to remind you that if you like these videos, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment below. I do thank you for watching. And if you want to support me financially, you can support me through PayPal on my website. If you go to filmsbychris.com, that's Chris the K. Link in the description. Go to the support section. You can support me on PayPal. Or you can go to my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. I do appreciate all the support that I get. Ooh, the phone just vibrated, so I think it's about to drop into the Android interface. There you go, and at this point, you just keep clicking next and answer all the questions that you want to answer. As I mentioned in a previous video, I am doing this to this phone because I need a root access on it uh, for a project where I'm going to be hooking it to a drone to collect some data. Um, 
I did not need to put a mod on there. I could have used the version of Android that came with it, but I did need to unlock the bootloader and put a custom recovery on there so that I can get my own shell script starting at boot time as root. And I figure as long as I'm doing that, it only took a couple minutes to download and put a mod on there, which is probably better than the version of Android it came with. But do keep in mind but that by default, there's not going to be any Google Play on here or Google services because of permissions uh, for them to, that they don't have to distribute with it, but you can load those up, which uh, I might go over in the next video, even though I don't really need any of those things. I'll do it just to make a video on it. So I do thank you for watching again. If you enjoyed this, be sure to let me know by commenting, subscribing, and liking. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you continue watching this series, and I hope that you have a great day.